Good morning. I thought you'd like a tour of our house. There's the house with the new roof and the new garage doors. So we're going to walk up. I love this door. I think it's very pretty. I'm going to pull it down and spray paint it, respray paint it black when I get a chance. We still have the realtor sign up there and some random bucket, but that's okay. So let's go see the house. It's my front door. Knock, knock. Is anyone home? Yes, I am. All right, so we come in. We have this entry foyer. With This is part of the heating system. This is part of the boiler system, which is interesting. We've got our beautiful arch doorways, which I love. See those? I love those. We've got a closet. Yay for all our coats and stuff. And behold, someone cut a square in the carpet. I don't know why, but we have discovered we have hardwoods underneath. Yay. We have curtains and random things that the sellers have left behind that they're supposedly getting today. We shall see. All right. So when you come through the front door, normally you would turn right into the living room. We have a pile of wood, which is a little weird, but they're going to get rid of that today when the cleaners come. My mantle, which I have ideas for. Yay. And a wood stove that works very well. We have my bay window, which is very pretty. Not a fan of the curtains, but they did convey with the house. I don't know why. It's a wall. That is a glass tabletop. That's not going to live here, obviously, in case you're wondering what that weird oval is. And da-da-da. All right, and we are... There's my entry. All right, so... We're going to go off to the right to the dining room that is really paneled. I would find the light switch, except I don't know where any of the light switches are. That paneling is going to be out of here, as is this very 80s fan. And as we go over here, this is the doorway to the attic, which is right now just an attic. Note, they put up a handrail. That was one of our requirements. Okay, that's my dining area. It's kind of a big dining area. So that's interesting. You pass through the dining area to my favorite room of the house. Look at the sky. Look at that. <laughs> it's my sunroom. I love this sunroom. I would never have thought to put a sunroom in. And the agent said, my agent, Chris, said that they spent $40,000 on this room, which I don't think that was wise, but you know, that's whatever. Um, the swing that is going away, because I don't want it. That belongs to the sellers. We're going to come back in here and we're going to lock this door because it has, it doesn't have an exterior lock, I don't think. I'm not sure. All right. And then we're going to go into the kitchen. Behold, the kitchen needs a major, major update. Like a major update. Somebody went to Burger King. <laughs> but look at all those cabinets. Look at all that. All those counters. So much better than my apartment. It has a dishwasher that does run. It has an oven that does work. It has a very dirty refrigerator that will be cleaned today by the cleaners. Yay! And then as we go over here... To the left, we have the garage that is very dark right now and very full of stuff that belongs to the sellers. And to the right, we have the basement. It's 
smells a little bit of marijuana and a little bit of mildew but that'll be taken care of and this is my no man's land i don't know what we're going to call this one and what we're going to put here but we'll figure it out my laundry room without the washer and dryer they were supposed to leave the washer and dryer and for god only knows what reason they got rid of them they were very old maybe they didn't work i don't know i'm not sure what's going on right here with this window thing there's a notch <gasps> there was a air conditioner here i bet if you look out the window behold one of the vans that needs to be towed away and the light fixture that I am going to take down and destroy. Actually, probably just donate it to Habitat for Humanity. Somebody will like a dated 80s light fixture. Maybe. Maybe they won't. I don't know. So we're going to walk back through the kitchen. And back through the dining room. And then we are going to go to the bathroom because that's an important room the bathroom blue carpet okay and we're not gonna think about the dirt on the floor in front of the toilet we're just not gonna think about that and that carpet is coming up at some point very very soon i really like the bathtub knobs it's got tile, kind of dated, a little bit of a crack going there, but, you know. We have the linen closet. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if this whole floor. Oh my goodness. Y'all, it's just a rug over hardwood floors. Hardwood floors in a bathroom, eh, probably not in good shape, but you know, we'll find out. And if it isn't, then we'll put something down. And if it is, well, we'll decide then. All right, so we're back in our little mini hallway. It's not really a hallway, it's kind of a, I don't know what we call that. This is gonna be the guest room. So if anybody comes to visit me, this is where they will stay. We are gonna paint because we're, it really, 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 really needs it. <laughs> Especially that ceiling. I don't know if they smoked. It doesn't smell like they smoked in here, but that ceiling is interesting. They replaced the ceiling fan in here recently, which is interesting because that's not one of the things that we asked for. That was since Brian did the first walkthrough. Our neighbor's house. Hi, neighbors. A closet. It's kind of a standard bedroom closet, but it's a nice big bedroom. Next, we have what will be the master. It is very, very, very mauve in here with the wallpaper border which is an older ceiling fan. One closet with a random pair of pants and a random box. And a second closet with a random safe that no one has the key or combination to that is bolted to the floor. So we'll have to take care of that. Anyway, so this is my house. Thought you'd like a tour. Have a great day.